Right here we have this month's mystery tackle box. We're gonna go ahead, crack this thing open, see what's inside, and catch some fish. Got him. We're on. We're on. I'm getting bit right now. I got one. Oh, there's one. I'm on. Oh, I watched it. Oh, that was sick. There we go. There we go. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh my gosh. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. We're out here and today we have a mystery tackle box right here, which means this video is sponsored by mystery tackle box. Today we have this box right here. It comes every single month in the mail. You guys love them. I love them. And we have to get out here, unbox these things and catch some fish on them. But I am going to be giving away a mystery tackle box in this video. We are trying to hit hundred thousand subscribers though. So in order to win this box, all you have to do is make sure to leave a comment on the video and to make sure to subscribe to the channel. The more you guys hit that red button, the more you guys watch these videos all the way to the end the more you like them the more you comment the more you share it helps us get more subscribers and our main goal by the end of the year is a hundred thousand so right here we have this month's mystery tackle box we're gonna go ahead crack this thing open see what's inside and then we're gonna tie it all up and catch some fish all right so this is this month's box starting off hot and heavy with the first one on the top we have one of my personal favorite spinner baits we have the cycle bait, the 10,000 fish cycle bait in the black and blue color. And uh, this is a really unique and a really cool spinner bait. And it should definitely catch us a fish today. Let's grab the thing I dropped. One of my favorite stick baits. We have the Exo Stick. This thing is really cool. As you guys can tell, it has a bunch of ridges on the back. It's a very unique worm, little green pumpkin color. This should definitely be the easiest bait to knock off in this box. Next, we have a uh, little Strike King Lucky Shad which is uh has a really cool color to it i don't know if this is a uh crankbait or a jerkbait it kind of looks like a mix i'm gonna say it's probably a crankbait though it says it dives eight foot which uh we're not really fishing eight foot so i'm probably gonna work this thing like a jerkbait a little weston bass bite square bill which is in a really unique and a really cool color it's a floating chart blue crawl which has an interesting name but it's an interesting color and we saved the best for last we have the guggen baits saucy swimmer right here and in one of my favorite colors this is the sexy shimmer color and as you can tell on the back it's shimmering it's shiny and the fish love it which is going to be go perfect on our little spinner bait over here and then we also have some hooks we got our sticker and then you get your what's inside tells you the names of everything so if you like it you can go buy like 16 of them and uh yeah that's our box this month and uh, it's really solid so uh hopefully we're gonna be able to uh knock it all out who knows if we're going to go for a slam. I feel like we always should go for a slam, which is knocking it off on every bait that we have in the box. But who knows how the fishing is going to be with the weather going in and out of hot and cold. So we're going to tie all this stuff up and we're going to catch some fish. All right, well, we're going to start off with our exo stick. I think it's going to be the easiest thing to knock off. So we're going to put it on a little wacky rig. I want to see if we can't get a fish to bite. And uh, this is the perfect bait to wacky rig because as you can see, it's just a nice little stick bait. All right, so we're just gonna stick this right there in the middle. Boom, perfect little wacky rig that should catch all of the bass. All right, so we just got our first bait rigged up, but before we actually go and make a few casts, I forgot to tell you guys, if you guys wanna get your own Mystery Tackle Box subscription right here, there's a ton of different things you can get. There's a salt water, there's different kinds of species, there's different month plans. There's all kinds of cool stuff and it's the best gift that keeps giving because you can just get it for yourself or for somebody you know. And you get them in the mail every single month. But if you guys wanna do that, you guys can actually use my code Logan and save some money on your first box. And I'm pretty sure you can get this one right here for as little as $10, which is an absolute steal. So we got our bait rigged up. Let's go make some cast. All right, this little Senko should be the one to get the bite. We're fishing some clear water, and uh, these fish absolutely love a little worm. It's the best worm you can throw at them. Simple and subtle, and has a really good action. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get smoked on this little worm. But like I said, we are gonna be giving away a mystery tackle box. Every month I give one of these bad boys away to one of you guys. So like I said, if you guys wanna win it, Make sure to watch throughout the video. Leave a comment. Maybe comment, what is your favorite bait in the box? Oh gosh, we have a fish. I think we do. Oh my God, just pulled off. Yeah, comment your favorite bait inside the box. Subscribe and you're entered to win. And we have to get another worm. Just yoink my worm off. Oh, we're gonna make the same cast. Let it sink all the way. This bait right here is just like a fish slayer. Doesn't matter where you're fishing, what kind of fish you're targeting, whether it's big or small, something will eat this thing. One's got it right now. Got him. We're on. We're on. Oh, that's not, a, that's, that's not a bad one. There we go. 
Okay, maybe he's, he's kind of tiny. It's okay, though. It's okay. We'll take it. There we go. On the old exo stick, baby. Look at that. He smoked that thing. Same exact spot where I literally just missed a fish. Although little fish love this bait, big ones do too. Thanks, little buddy. See you later. Where'd he go? Oh, dang. He's quick. Well, there we go. One fish on the board. And, uh, you know, I would go tie up something else, but I really am so confident in this thing that I might try and catch, like, another one or two. The old Sanko just cannot be beat, especially in a pond where there's little fish, you know? They just can't resist this thing. A little clear water. Oh, I'm getting bit right now. I got one. Fish number two. Yeah, come on up here. Let's go. Well, fish number two, you know, nothing crazy, but uh, we might not have marked a bait off the slam because we've already caught one on it, but more fish always help. They never hurt. See you, buddy. Thank you. Well, we got options. I don't know if this combination is the best option just because the fish in this pond are kind of small. I don't know if they're going to be able to hold on to that. And then we come to these, which, you know, I'm feeling pretty confident in. I think maybe we should try this. Say a little lucky shad. I think it's like a crankbait. It's either a crankbait or a jerkbait. I want to say it's a crankbait though, because it said that it dives like eight foot. So I might toss it around like a little jerkbait and see if we can't get one of these smaller fish to come up and eat this thing. We'll start with the wacky rig. We'll throw it up shallow and then we'll go a little bit deeper whenever we get the uh, the crankbait ready to go. Oh, there's one. I'm on. Dude, this this lure just it can't be beat, man. It just it just can't. Oh gosh, there we go. Cannot beat the old wacky rig, man. It just it, it's just unstoppable. I mean, look at this. Getting them to eat a crankbait is a little bit of a different story. Not because they won't, it's just because it's so shallow in here. But uh thanks, bud. All right, little crankbait. Do me well out there. Oh no. What just happened? That's not good at all. If I get this out, I'm honestly gonna be so surprised. This crankbait's a little too deep for this pond, but we're still gonna try and knock it out. Oh, one just hit it right there. You gotta be kidding me. That was our chance. And that fish just screwed it up. Oh, oh my god. No, he ate it again. He got a hook that time. Come on, please eat it fully this time. Come on. Please be a fish out there that wants to help me out. There's one. Got him. We're on. Yes. Thank you. Just stay on. Just stay on. Just stay on. Got him. Let's go. There we go on our uh, little Strike King minnow. You know what that means. That's another bait knocked off. So we got to go grab another one tied up and uh, get to moving on this challenge. We got the sun going down. So uh, thanks, little guy. Appreciate you. Boom. All right, we got our Weston Bass Bite Square Bill right here. This thing has a crazy color on it, which should be really good. I'm hoping that these fish get fired up by it. But uh, hey, we had a few bites on the crankbait back there, so this might be a good thing. So we might have just found the spot to knock this slam out. So I think after this, all we have is that spinnerbait and the saucy swimmer. So uh, I might just take those with us. Let's see if we can't get a little bite. That has potential. There's one. I'm on. There we go. I got one. Oh my god, it might be decent for real. He is running straight at me. I hope I still have him on. Oh yeah, he's on. He's got hooked in the top of the head. Oh, boat flip. I mean dock flip. 
<laughs> we did it. We got one more bait. See you, buddy. We're racing the clock. Oh, that was a little belly flop, but he, he swam off pretty good. That was sick. There we go. One more bait, and the slam is completed. All right, we are rigging up our last lure. We have our little cycle bait, black and blue. Actually, my favorite color in the cycle bait. I caught my first uh, pike on this bad boy. So uh, this color and this bait has a special place in my heart. But to knock out both lures, we're going to combine them. So we definitely are about to have the ultimate set up to hopefully catch our last fish. One thing you guys will notice about the cycle bait is it has a pretty unique style to it. But it is a really cool spinnerbait. It's actually my favorite spinnerbait. I'm not a big spinnerbait guy, but I always like throwing this one around just because it has such a crazy movement. I'm going to toss it right on the back of the spinnerbait, and we're going to go out there, and we're going to hope that a fish is big enough to eat it. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think we're going to go back to that same spot. It seemed to be pretty saucy over there. I mean, that was like first cast. We got bit. Make that same exact cast, see if there's not another one. I mean, look at this, though. Mean, mean looking lure. All right, the odds are definitely against us right now, but we've got to knock out this bait. I think the only way for us to do that is to uh, maybe sneak up, cast this wall, and hope there's a fish on it. And hope that we hook it, too. We got to hook it. That's the important part. Oh, one's coming after it. One's coming after it. Oh, no. It came off that wall. The fish was literally sitting on the wall. Came off of it. And snubbed my cycle bait. Alright, last cast. And I'm, making a, I'm making a move. If it don't happen here... It's not gonna happen in this pond, so we're gonna have to move. These fish might just be a little too tiny to come eat this thing. All right, we've traveled to a different pond in hopes that we can knock this last lure out. Oh, there's one. Oh my God, it's a tree. Frick. That is not what I wanted to happen at all. Oh, uh, this is not good. Oh, okay, I got it off. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, I nailed that tree with the hooks up, though. All right, maybe let's not cast right there again. That was way too close for my liking. This visibility is so bad. I didn't even see it come in a second ago. I didn't even see it. I don't even know if the fish are going to be able to see it. Oh, I watched it. Oh, that was sick. There we go. There we go. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, my gosh. Pond water in my mouth. Oh, my gosh. And he just popped off. What a fish, man. That's a good one. As you can see, there's a pretty good difference between size and these ponds. That was a cool bite. He literally followed it right up in front of my face and ate the cycle bait with the saucy on it. There we go. Thank you, fish. You complete the slam. I love you. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. See you later. Let's go. Slam completed. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's pull our uh, mystery tackle box out. We're done with that crank. We're done with that. We're done with that. We got everything. Let's go. Well, just like that, we completed our mystery tackle box slam. Took a little bit but we got it done we did it and one of you guys is going to win your very own mystery tackle box so we can play the slam a mystery tackle box is up for grabs and all you guys have to do is make sure to leave a comment on this video maybe comment your favorite bait and uh make sure to be subscribed to the channel and you guys can be entered to win your very own mystery tackle box for free all my giveaways are completely free but if you guys do want to pick up your own subscription you guys can go to mysterytacklebox.com it'll be linked down below in the description and you can use logan and save some money on your first box but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one
stay fishing.